What's good guys, Northern Souls back with another video and today is going to be a latest pickup video. Uh, I've said in my last video that I haven't posted for a month. Uh, I have picked up a few bits and pieces here and there so I'm just going to catch you up on the clothing I bought over the last month. Guys, I've got four pickups to show you. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start with a Tommy Hilfiger cap. Uh, got this for an absolute steal uh, in TK Maxx. Uh, my friend Sam down in London went into TK Maxx and found these for £10. And a week later, he did see them in the Tommy Hilfiger store for 18 which I think was on sale again. Uh, but it's a cream off-white dad cap. Um, I'm not a big fan of the shape of this because it's slightly a bit bigger than a dad cap. Uh, it drops a bit further down to your ears than I actually like. Um, but there's two logos on there. There's one on the front, which is embroidered, and then one on the back, which is on the buckle of the strap. Uh, there's one on the inside, but you're rarely going to see that unless you take it off. But it's a nice, clean hat from Tommy Hilfiger. And again, absolute steal from TK Maxx. So go check out your local TK Maxx's and see if they've got one. Next up is a mask. Uh, this is from N Suave Clothing over on Instagram. I'll drop their Instagram below. Um, we got a nice little face mask. Um, they are £25 and the quality of them is not 100%. Um, the logo on the front, for example, is printed and it's not embroidered, which I was pretty like disappointed by because, for example, the bait one behind me, I paid 44 and I know it's bait, but if you want to take time to make some products, you're going to have to put the work in. And also, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but you can see, you'll be able to see it over my white t-shirt, like the finish of the straps are not the best, but uh, I was sent this by on Suave to give a review on it, and that's what I'm doing. I uh, did post a picture on my Instagram. I'm just going to drop it on, and you can see how it actually fits. I don't know if you can still hear me, but it's a nice fit, but again, uh, just the overall quality of them is not 100%. Um, could be A1 if they actually put an embroidered uh, logo on the front. So that's my second pickup, and now I'm going to go on to the jackets. I've got two jackets to show you, one being an Alpha Bomber and one being a Kagul from Urban Outfitters. As I said, I'm going to go into the jackets. And this is um, a British camo Kagool. Uh, I found this in Urban Outfitters and again an absolute steal. Um, found it on the sale rail. I didn't have a price tag on it and I paid £15. I went to the counter, asked her if she could get a price for me. Uh, she run, couldn't find it on the system and then came back to me and just said it's £15. So I had to buy it and just behind me I have got my British camo 95s and it is a perfect match. You might have seen my Air Max Japan uh, coat which is also matches my Air Max 90s and 95 Japans but for £15 it's a nice little piece. Um, three pockets on this, one being the main pocket on the front and then two pockets down at your waist. Uh, Nice and light, it is slightly shower resistant, I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it's shower resistant and it's a nice piece. I would say I'll link you in the description, but I can't find this on Urban Outfitters because it was part of the uh, Urban Renewal, which is obviously vintage, and yeah, it's a nice jacket. My last pickup is an Alpha Bomber jacket. I'm not too sure on the model number, but I will post a link in the description from flightstore.co.uk where I bought it. This was £106 and again, bought it in a sale and it was mo it was cheaper than everywhere else that's selling the nice and thin Alpha jackets. Um, but this is a really thick, quilted, grey Alpha Bomber. Um, you've got a fur lined hood with a fur outer lining um, two main pockets uh, which are on the outside in my opinion they are quite high up and I'll just show you that the only one problem you've got with this jacket is that the velcro on these pockets do catch and the inside of my arm of the jacket is fraying uh, which is not good and also the the wool on the sleeves are also bobbling because it keeps catching the velcro on the pockets and as you can see they are quite high to get into but the last pocket is on the inside which is perfect if you've got your phone and you whack your earphones in but it's a real nice jacket nice colour nice feel and for £106 which is quite cheap for an alpha which are usually 150 
or 200 if you're going to go Selfridges. Um, it's real nice and I suggest you go and check out Flight Store because they have over 30 to 40 jackets from Flight uh, from Alpha Industries and they are top quality and they are, are all authentic. Flight Store is the UK's number one um, flight navigation website for all needs if you're into that but we don't use it for that. I use it for the streetwear aspect but it's a nice jacket and if you do grab one let me know. Um, it is coming summer, well spring summer now so I probably will be looking for a thinner one because when I wear this I've wore it with a bape before and you do sweat your back out but overall it's a nice jacket and I would recommend, highly recommend it. They were my four pickups for the last month, I've honestly not bought that much, uh, a lot of my focus has been on vaping um, due to my new job and I've been sponsored by a few companies but go check out my Instagram you will see a few vaping posts and if you want to, do want to follow my vaping Instagram it's Northern Vapes and I'll drop that right here. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions about any of the products I've shown you and more importantly subscribe.